What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, who is uh, 30 wins, no loss, and no draw. He has 15 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, 5 for 9 and a half for the 72 inch arm reach. He responds back to undefeated Olympic silver medalist, two division world champion, former unified super featherweight WBO WBC world champion, now lightweight superstar title contender, Sugar Shakur Stevenson, who has 20 wins, no loss and no draw, 10 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 for 8 with a 68 inch arm reach. Shakur Stevenson wants now to petition the World Boxing Council, better known as the WBC, President Mauricio Suleiman, and board of 32 members to force a mandatory position to be able to face off against Devin Haney. But ultimately, Shakur Stevenson, he wants a 50-50 split. He's petitioning the WBC, but he wants them to investigate and possibly give him a 50-50 split, to which Devin Haney, and his team find that hilarious. They find it amusing that Shakur Stevenson would attempt to receive a 50-50 split. Now, keep in mind, Shakur Stevenson, he took the social media, and when he took the social media, he stated that he understood that Devin Haney was indeed the A side and that he was the B side. He wasn't looking for uh, to be the A side, but he was looking for a, share, a fair split. But shooting... I gather for the stars and landing on the moon is what the plan is for Shakur Stevenson. You can't expect to receive a 50-50 split when you have fought a total of one time at this division, okay? Uh, he fought one time at 135. He fought against Yoshino. He put on a dazzling performance. He stopped Yoshino uh, in the sixth round. He dropped him, you know, a few times and put on a dazzling performance. But that was his debut in this division. Shakur Stevenson, yes, he's the unified champion at Super Featherweight 130. He's the former WBO champion at 126. But Shakur Stevenson is a newbie. He's Johnny come lately to the lightweight division. And Devin Haney is the undisputed lightweight undefeated champion. Not to mention, Devin Haney makes more money than anybody in the division, anybody from junior welterweight on down, not named, undefeated, three-division world champion, five-time world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis is seen to be the face of the sport of boxing, or one of them. Javante Tank Davis is a cash cow and a superstar within the sport. Javante Tank Davis has 29 wins, no loss, no draw, 27 big wins by way of knockout, 28 years of age, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm age. Javante Tank Davis is seen to be the cash cow in the sport of boxing. He's one of the faces of the sport of boxing, along with four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer, who is currently the undisputed super middleweight world champion and widely considered by many to be the face of the sport of boxing, and Saul Canelo Alvarez, who has a record of 59 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 70 inch arm reach. Outside of Javante Tank Davis, from junior welterweight on down, nobody makes more money than Devin Haney, and he's the undisputed champion. So Shakur Stevenson, he recently stated that he makes about $3 million per fight. Well, Devin Haney, he makes more than $3 million per fight. Now I know his guaranteed purse for George Cambosis, the first fight, the undisputed fight in Australia, was for $2.8 million. But he got back end money. So he stood to make about $5 million at the very least for the George Cambosis fight. Now, it was said that George Cambosis was guaranteed a purse of $10 million. So should, with that said, that means Devin Haney, if that holds to be true, that means Devin Haney took a 22-78 split in favor of George Cambosis to secure that legacy undisputed showdown. Now the tables turned in the rematch because he was defending his titles, but yet he still had to go to Australia. So Devin Haney makes in more, he brings in more money. Okay, Devin Haney is the undisputed champion. There's no way on this green earth that Shakur Stevenson can challenge Devin Haney and garner the same amount of purse and the same amount of money as Devin Haney, and he brings nothing to the table outside his reputation. 
He's not a champion. Devin Haney was a whole champion when he fought against George Cambosis Jr. the first time in Australia. So with that said, Team Haney found it amusing that uh, Shakur Stevenson essentially is petitioning to get a 50-50 split. Now, what's interesting is you have to look at it from this standpoint because people say Devin Haney offered Shakur Stevenson a 25-75 split in favor of himself. That means he was sending him a lowball offer because he really didn't want to fight. Well, if you look at it from this standpoint, is Shakur Stevenson asking for a 50-50 split, which is not realistic because he don't really want to fight. So you can look at it from any which angle. Glass half full, glass half empty. That at the end of the day, Devin Haney, he didn't ask Shakur Stevenson to do something he himself didn't do to secure his legacy. And in return, he's asking Shakur Stevenson, I have to take the sacrifices. It's still a sacrifice for Devin Haney, who we know is on record before Shakur Stevenson even came in the division. And he stated that he's having trouble making 135 pounds. He's a big 135 pounder. We know Shakur Stevenson is aware of this because Shakur Stevenson is on record saying that Devin Haney is a super middleweight, a light heavyweight. By the time the fight happens, we know Javante Tank Davis uttered the same sentiments. He said Devin Haney is a middleweight that can't punch himself out of a wet paper bag, right? So they both acknowledge that Devin Haney is extremely big for a 135 pounder. But Shakur Stevenson is well aware of this because he lost his titles on the scale when he went to defend him against Robson Casasio. He fought twice at 130. He fought against Jamel Herron for the WBO title, Oscar Valdez for the WBC in a unification bout, and then he fought against Robson Casasio in the title defense. And he lost his belts on the scale. And he stated that the weight was just too much for him to attempt to continue to cut. So he just didn't attempt to do it. He fought Robinson and Casasio. He beat him. And then he moved up in weight. So he's well aware how Devin Haney, he couldn't do that in two, three fights at 130, coming from 126. Devin Haney has yet to move up a division. Devin Haney has been in this division for 10 years. So Devin Haney is struggling to make the weight. This is before Shakur Stevenson made 135 his home. So we can't say the weight is a way for Devin Haney to duck Shakur Stevenson. Not at all. And you have to keep in mind, factor in, that Shakur Stevenson, he stated that he was going to petition the WBC May 24th to force his way into a fight with Devin Haney. Devin Haney, he defended his titles in a highly anticipated showdown with Olympic two-time gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer Vasily Hitek Lomachenko. He did so, and that was May 20th. So four days later, after Shakur Stevenson got in the ring with Devin Haney and said that he wanted to fight Devin Haney and called out Devin Haney, he stated on May 24th that he was going to petition to be the mandatory challenger. He and his team was going to petition well, we are in the middle of July, July 11th to be exact, Tuesday, July 11th, and Shakur Stevenson is just now activating the mandatory challenge. This coming off of, this coming after on the heels of Devin Haney already sending him an offer. Now, also, Devin Haney has already begun negotiations and somewhat put out his mind that about this fight even being realistic, and now he's focusing on WBC two-time uh, junior welterweight world champion superstar bosses Regis Rugeru Progre at 140. So Devin Haney has plans to possibly go up to 140 and challenge Regis Progre and become a two division world champion. So this is all about timing. Uh, this is all about you know um, being realistic at the end of the day. Point blank and period. 50 50 is not realistic. I mean you get what you negotiate. But it's not realistic to have, ask Devin Haney to now sacrifice after he sacrificed so much to get where he's at. And now he has to concede to Shakur Stevenson in only his second fight in the division. And Devin Haney has to take, again, a sacrifice. That's not realistic. We have to be realistic with this all the way around. Uh, I highly expect Devin Haney at this point in time to just go ahead, negotiate with Regis Progray and make that fight happen at 140. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. 
But uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram at Boo Sports TV, all one word. That's all I got for y'all. Let me know what y'all think. I'm gone. Peace.